we set up a snatch block to hold the container a little closer to the hole. It was pretty difficult to move that big old thing. I think it weighs close to 10,000 pounds. It came along slowly but surely. I got a lot of video clips, but I'm going to put them in fast forward motion because you can see it's moving at a snail's pace. One of the other things that helped a lot was lifting up the container at one end and putting some um, small logs or chunks of firewood underneath it just to reduce the resistance against the sand and the earth. It helped roll it a little bit easier because the logs were kind of like little wheels underneath it. So we took some of this stuff, this uh, rubber tar roofing sealant and just went over the troubled spots. I didn't want to coat the whole thing because it probably would have taken 10 of those things to really do it all, but we just went over the troubled areas that had uh, more corrosion. We're getting ready to pull it down into the ground and then we'll go over it on the top probably with more of this uh, tar sealant. I know all the camera angles aren't in perfect sequence, but I thought it would be cool to see just from different angles how big of a task it is to move something this size without a crane. Sorry for the shaky camera hand there.
at this point, I didn't want to jerk the bucket off the skid steer, so I chained the frame to the container and started tugging on it just a couple inches at a time to try to softly pull it down in. This is part of the wreckage. This chain broke once or twice or three times. I don't know if the chain was old or it was pulling some serious pressure tugging on that thing. We are in the hole now. I just threw a four foot level on top of it to see because Wanted to see how level, just rough estimate left to right on it. And it was actually dead on. I'll show you in a second. It drug a lot of dirt down in and it, as it was drug down in the hole. But, uh, I'll show you here. I didn't do anything but set this level on here. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty dang close. Perfect. So, that's a big step. We're in the hole. And it was pretty tight down towards the middle part. Pretty tight squeeze. I left it a little bit wider on both ends, though, so that I could pivot it a little bit if I wanted to. But the center had a pretty tight fit. So, we are going to... Not exactly level up. I did want level left to right, but front to back, obviously, we want it to be going downhill because we have a grade here. It's all running down that way. So as water sheds down, it'll shed on down the hill. And um, we'll start working on our interior skeleton of support, hopefully very, very soon.